Es ist soweit, er ist da. Ich glaube, er hat noch nicht... Oh, er geht direkt zu den Fans. Ich dachte gerade schon, oh, geht er jetzt in die falsche Richtung? Nein, er ist so cool drauf. Er geht erstmal noch zu den Fans. Das ist ja wohl der absolute Kracher. Erstmal kurz Handshaking, ein paar Fotos machen. Er, er ist zum Greifen nah, Marco. Er ist zum Greifen nah. Ja. Und er ist <lacht> also, ihr seht das jetzt nicht, weil klar die Kamera auf Nikolai gerichtet ist. Wir, wir freuen uns hier extrem darauf, dass er gleich hier bei uns sitzen wird. Und ich finde das ja immer so super sympathisch, ne? wenn Schauspieler sich nochmal die Zeit nehmen, mit ihren Fans zu sprechen, nochmal Hallo zu sagen und einfach mit ihnen in Austausch zu gehen. Ja? Und jetzt, jetzt sind wir kurz davor auch seine Hand zu schütteln und nachher gibt es natürlich auch noch Selfies, ne, äh, Marco? Wie er guckt, das müsste, kann mal jemand close auf Marcos Gesicht gehen, wie er guckt, ich glaube, es geht gerade ein <lacht> Lebenstraum in Jamie Lannister, geh auf Jamie Lannister, los. <lacht> <lacht> oh, ist das nicht süß? Äh, ich meinte gerade Marco. <lacht> ich glaube, ich glaub, er ist gerade an einer, an einer Freundin von mir vorbeigelaufen, oh, an meine oh, liebe, oh, oh, an meine oh, liebe oh, Kollegin ja, ja. Leia und was Jamie Lannister nicht weiß ist, dass sie nach der vierten Staffel aufgehört hat, mal von zu gucken. Und sie äh, hat es gehört durch die Lautsprecher. <lacht> <lacht> nee, aber ähm, ich finde das richtig, richtig krass. Ich glaube, so voll war es schon äh, äh, lange nicht mehr hier bei uns vor dem Studio. Es ist natürlich klar, für viele andere äh, hier, auf, also ich glaube für fast alle hier auf der CCXP, ist Nikolai Costa-Waldau auch ein großes, großes Highlight. Ja? Ähm, er, er ist hier, glaube ich, äh, äh, eingeflogen äh, und trifft dann auf die Erwartungen der Fans. Wie ist ist es denn so, mal auf ihn zu treffen? Und ich kann euch sagen, ich habe schon mit vielen ähm, gesprochen, die ihn persönlich jetzt kennengelernt haben hier auf der Messe. Die haben alle gesagt, der Typ ist der Kracher. Der ist so gut drauf und ich sehe es. Er kommt jetzt rein. Es ist oh. Nikolai costa Waldo. Hi, hi. Hey. Hi, oh, you didn't know this one. <lacht> hi, I'm Steffi. I'm nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, you're sitting here. Hey, guys. <lacht> I'm sitting, sitting here. here. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Yeah, we have some snacks for you. You're <laughs> the first one grabbing a snack. <laughs> And we also have water for you if you want to. Oh, that's to. Very, 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 very kind of you. Oh. Can you hear me? Yes, we Still. can. Okay. Um, How, how's your day been so far? Oh, really good. I'm really excited. Yeah. The whole day now, meeting How many days you. have you been doing this now? Uh, three days. How this many, is the how fourth day. How many days day? have you been doing this? Uh, four. Okay, what was the high point? Uh, actually, it's the tumbler from the Dark Knight. It's just the tumbler. I will be sitting in it in four hours from now. So this will be my high point. Ex uh, <coughs> And what was oh, your high point? Of course. This moment, this exact <laughs> moment right now. Do you know what? That's exactly the same you said to Zach. Oh, come on. No. You were talking to Zach about it? About you, yeah. Okay, what were you saying? Well, he said you had great in-depth questions. So uh, he said, be, be ready, because these guys Is they're doing a, a tough interview. So I'm okay. ready. So, so give me some good ready? questions. Okay, so wait, I'm going to look for my questions here. Okay. Is this the normal reaction you get when um, people are meeting you for the first time? So they're really excited about it? No. No? No, it's, it's just in Cologne, which is great. I'm, it's great to be here. Yeah. So you had the time to... Is it like, can you like go through Cologne without a fans? Yes. Uh, He's uh, so good. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> without fans grabbing you, asking you, or, or... No, but the thing about um, Germans are very polite. So when they, when if like if if there's a lot of people and I'm walking the street and someone says, can I have a picture? And I say, mm, it's maybe a little too many. And... Germans have a big fear of being embarrassed. Mm -hmm. So instantly they go, oh, okay, okay, no, sorry. Which uh, you go to Spain, they'll go, no, I don't care, give me a picture. <laughs> so it's, it's been absolutely great here. It's no, no, pro no problems. Okay, cool. So then you're prepared. Mm. What, what's no, your favorite one? Tell me. What's it? No, you I have to stop now because I've I'm, I'm, I'm been eating since I arrived. Do you, <laughs> you want to know which one is my favorite? It's mm. the frog. Which one is the frog? This one is the frog. This one is my favorite. La one last one. Last one. How do you like it? Oh. Come on, it's you know, good. Do you know how they make wine gum? Yes, I know. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to think about it when you eat it, right? Yes. No. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway. 
You so, had some great questions for me. Yes, I know, and they're all about Game of Thrones. Go on. And we were we were just talking about are you tired to get questions about Game of Thrones? No. No? Really? I, I, no. I'm tired of questions about Game of Thrones and I don't star in it. No, so, but I mean, I, I don't, I only talk about it when I go to a place like this. Okay, so then let's just dive in. What do you say about the last episode? The last episode? Uh, like, uh, I thought the it was... The very last. The very last episode. Well, I, um, I thought it was great. I mean, I, I thought that, uh, as I said when I did the q and I actually thought the ending of, of, of Jamie's story happened. Obviously, you see the dead body, but you, the, it was kind of very poetic, beautiful, the scene with Brianna Tarth when she is filling in the blanks mm, yes. in, the, in the book. So I was always kind of, that was a moving. Um, and then I thought, you know, they shared power between, you know, the South and the North, and, and John went up and, uh, oh yeah, he killed the dragon lady, and then, you know, <laughs> He went above, the, you know, to the wall, and Arya. They set Arya up for the sequel, right? So it's all good. You know what? I had this little hope that Jamie Lannister would be still alive somehow. Yeah, well, I had I this little hope. He's, he is alive. I can show you. Okay, show me. I have to find it because uh, if you hold it. Oh yes, I will hold it. So this is what um, Jamie and um, and and. Cersei, they did this really genius thing. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to do like that. <laughs> I have to find a picture. Yes, it, well, I'm pretty excited it, about it. I'm um, looking into yeah. the smartphone of Nikolai Costa Valdo. Uh, I, I try not to be uh, nosy. Uh. No, I'm not polite <laughs> on this point. So it's, when, when do we shoot this? That was, oh, here we go. Uh, I think, uh, by the way, the la actual last appearance of Jamie Lannister on the final episode is for me not uh, you playing the dead Jamie Lannister. It's about mm. the pin uh, Tyrion <laughs> throws away. Uh, oh, yeah. Did he throw the pin he, away? Yeah, he, throw, uh, he threw the pin away, and the pin lands on the steps, and it looks like your hand, the yeah. first shot we saw you. So, yeah. in kind of a way, um, he reminds uh, uh, Danny about you and your death and your sacrifice. Yes. So this is what I like the most about Jamie Lannister, actually. Uh, it's oh, uh, you and Tyrion together. I love find this. both <laughs> roles. Oh, it's We're like totally into this picture thing, yeah. Marco. Oh, <laughs> no, you no, deleted it. No, 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 you deleted it. No, 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 I'm not deleting it. I'm not you know what? You're the kind of person who takes like five pictures from just one setting. That's why you cannot find your pictures anymore. It's a, a year ago. I think this is. Oh, this is like just uh, wrapped. This is my. F huh? just, oh, this was just my final. Oh, my final so this scene. is the. Anyway. It's a wrap. Well, can we can we show it into uh, the camera? No, I'll show you this one. This is. Uh, <gasps> uh, you're in Greyjoy. Uh, why is he <laughs> kind of naked? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, we just missed it. Oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Snooze, you lose. You have to be quick. The cameraman has to be really, really. Okay, quick. let me just find you this the thing I wanted to. Oh shit, he's right there. Yeah, you should, yeah, you should yeah, film yeah. Like my phone while I'm yeah. going through it. I'll, I'll show it to you when you when you when you can. Okay, so this is right after we uh, okay. we, oh. we just wrapped. But there was a oh, I didn't see it. Are you sure? Can I see oh, tears in both both eyes? Of course you can. Oh, was it her final scene too? Uh, can we? Yes. No wait. I, I have to find this one. I have to find this one. I want to show it to the world, uh, uh, Nikolai. We Lena Hidi gesehen. We both together on the green screen stehen and. No, but there's a picture. Durchaus emotional in the camera schauen. Aber es ist oh, why can't I find it? It's just because it's so amazing how they, how they shot the uh, the final. You know when the, when Tyrion comes and he dicks mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Um, uh, Lena and me. You know what? Uh, I I kind of I don't know if we have too much time for no, just no, looking into but picture. The, the, fact, the fact is, can, can I give this? Oh, of course. So um, it was just this amazing uh, doll they made. So yeah. when you see him finding us, mm -hmm. it's actually uh, not us. It's to uh, they created these uh, really? dolls. That was we did a 3D scan of our faces, and then they just recreated this so so because the thing was we have all this dust on our eyelids and you, you go close yeah. you can see all the dust there's no way you cannot you know breathe and not oh. so they had uh, these uh, copies so in theory uh, 
Jamie and Cersei were not. We're not there. dead. They so were not there. It wasn't them. So then I could be happy about See? it. See, you could be happy about <laughs> it. Yeah, but you know what? So how did you feel about Daenerys going? Uh, medieval uh, in the world. This is a, a whole topic on its own. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, what I li I'd like to talk about is the Valonka theory. You ever heard of that? Of you, course. You, I think you're misunderstanding something here, very <laughs> fundamental. It's not about what you want here. Um, it's about how did you feel about the Daenerys uh, going tell crazy? Tell us, tell us, Marco. Um, I was kind of, uh, it was heading to this, and uh, there was a lot of foreshadowing, and it shows a lot about our morals. Uh, we like to share to people, even if, uh, if we think they are right, and nobody is evil. If someone thinks he's right, mm -hmm. and you think he's right, yeah. you like what he's doing, and you share to that. Yeah. And then, then there's a point, maybe, uh, where you see you weren't right, uh, yeah. but he still thinks he is. So this is the point. But isn't it also that whole thing about the, uh, yes, and, and the winner writes history, right? So, so we, always, we always assume that we are in the right, that whatever we do, when we, if we in our countries are in war, we, we are doing good things because we're the right, we're mm -hmm. the good people, right? But and good people do bad things as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And your last episode showed me that um, war isn't, isn't about who's, who wins, uh, it's about the people who suffer. Who yeah, suffer. and war is not the solution to anything. Not to anything. Right. No, it's it's very. Uh, it felt very awkward and real. The uh, bells. This episode. Yeah. Um, this episode. So it was kind of a great moment in TV history, actually, for me. Even if you hate the ending of Game of Thrones, it moves you. I think so, and I think it was never. It was always going to be very difficult to f end a story with so many stories mm -hmm. and with so many very very passionate fans who loved the show. The only thing I would say, is that, as I said before, is that if you remember what people loved about the show over the years, it was always the unpredictability, mm -hmm. the fact that things didn't go the way you wanted them to go. So it's, it's always it's felt a little um, ironic that what people were really upset about at the end was that it didn't end the way <laughs> they wanted it to end. But this was I think, at the, that, yeah. and also at the core, people didn't want it to end, period. Yeah. Of course. And, which is great. You know. Do you know what I really hated? That there was no happy ending for Brienne of, of Tarte and for Jamie Lannister. Well, she, she had one night of joy. Well, oh. so this is what she, she, she's getting? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> one and uh, one night stand? Are you saying, <laughs> saying that wouldn't be enough? What, that is amazing. Um. <laughs> But you know? uh, did you have the feeling that uh, Jamie changed in the, um, the storyline? Uh, because, because, because of the Wallonka theory, for years I thought, ha, Jamie's going to kill Cersei. Oh, yes. He's going to kill Cersei. Yeah. It must be. But, the, 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 but, but also remember that the theory is from the books. It was never mentioned in, this, in the show. Yeah. So it I was, it was all something that, you know, in the books this is mentioned, but it was never yeah. part of the show. They, other, the other prophecies mm -hmm. were mentioned, right, with the Mag the Frog and all that. Um, and also, but it would almost be yeah. too perfect, wouldn't it? That he had to go back and kill Cersei. And there are uh, poetic similarities, you know? One of your hands is on her neck. Mm -hmm. So I thought, it's a bu she's going to die in the arms of the one she loves the most. Yes. And you were going to die in the arms you love the most. Yes. And still, your, your, your living hand is still on her neck. So kind of, it is Valonka, but you didn't... St yeah. the, the life was uh, squeezed out of her. Yeah. Like in the prophecy, mm -hmm. but you weren't the reason. No. So no. in kind That's of way, it uh, fulfilled. George R. R. Martin said, uh, "You don't uh, look too close at prophecies." You know. <laughs> no, it's true. But also, it's like with anything, uh, any. It's always about how how do you interpret it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and, and how do you inter interpret it, um, uh, Jamie's reason to go back to Cersei? Was oh, I it think love? It, it's it's love, but it's also loyalty, and it's 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 a very it's the it, it's imprinted in him. You can't leave your family behind. And, and you have to remember, it's the, he's been, it's spent his life with this woman. Mm -hmm. She's the mother of three, his three kids, and she's carrying his, his fourth mm -hmm. child. And he's being told that she is going to get killed now. Of course he's going to go back Did and you? try to do whatever he can to help her. Yeah, but uh, uh, she lost 
the child actually uh, which uh, well not in this, this not in the way it was cut together yes i know mm. so this was a scene which was cut out and oh, i no it was in in the, it was in the original script for for, for season 7 and we, and we shot it but when they they you know they edited it yes. and they thought no let's keep this in but uh, i heard uh, i watched an interview with the Hedy and she said this was a scene where she was really sad that it was cut out. Yeah. Um, do you also have scenes that were cut out and now afterwards you say, uh, I wish these scenes would, would have been in the series? No, I don't have any scenes that were cut out. Oh, so you're very happy. You got your full screen time. I got the full thing, yeah. Wow. But I think that the scene with, with the uh, miscarriage, it was a miscarriage at the very end of yeah. season seven. I understand why they didn't use that because it was such a it's such a great if Cersei hadn't been pregnant mm -hmm. it would have taken some of the tragedy out of the story in in, in, that, in season 8 right yeah the, the fact that that is part of the engine at the final scene with her and, and Jamie she says I don't want our baby I want our baby to live it's such a powerful thing so it it absolutely made sense but also you know I don't think they it's a very it's a big thing to write a series. It's yes. not, it, and, and also, so, you know, they had to write it as we were going along. It's not done like, you know, you, you didn't, we didn't have a novel and could look at. They had to come up with it. Um, and I think that I've read some of the comments online and you kind of go, you know, I, uh, fair enough, you don't like it. But... Um, to say that they're hacks and that they don't know what they're doing and they, it's just disrespectful yeah. because yes. uh, yeah, they, it's, it's been the biggest show yeah. uh, ever and it has everything to do with the creators of the show. So are you somehow then at a point where you say, I don't read any comments anymore? No, I, no, I read some stuff, but I mean, I, I am, and I enjoy it and I, I love the passion. Uh, it's for me. No, no. I, I think, and, and I think it's absolutely valid. You, you, you can feel that it's the wrong ending, and that's great. I yeah. have, I'm the same with everything. For me, it's more when it becomes. Uh, that's what I said. When it just becomes stupid, where you go, don't, yeah. don't call people names. Don't say like. I mean, because that is a little disrespectful. And I understand that you think when you're sitting, writing on your computer or whatever, that no one's reading it. But things travel quickly. Yes, they do. And are you talking with? the colleagues about those topics? No, we, we talked, yeah, we've talked about it. Um, Is there a Game of Thrones group chat? Yes, WhatsApp we, group? we have a WhatsApp group, yeah. You have? Yeah. <laughs> Can I see it? No. <laughs> okay. I'm eating again. <laughs> so you you are talking about this with, with, with the other one? I mean, usually we talk about all other stuff. We don't, but right when it happened, when the show was airing, uh, yeah. at one point I wrote, listen guys, just relax. Yeah. Um, they still like you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> so you're the calm one. I'm the old one. Oh. Yeah, but that's quite interesting. Even if you hate the ending of Game of Thrones, everybody loves the actors. Everybody loves the crew. Ma they are only I'm talking about the story and if the story... No, but and then, which is fine. I think... It's just, a, it's just a, it becomes silly if you start mm -hmm. calling the writers that like, oh, they don't know what they're doing, they have no idea, and how, how do they... D it's just completely missing the point of, yeah. and the complexity of the show. It's kind of shows that you are stupid because you followed this writer the whole season, the, uh, the whole storyline. Yeah. It, it, he, he got you, and, um, and now it's kind of like it with the Daenerys, you know? Uh, no, but, but, but listen, as, as I said, I mean, I, I, I understand exactly how it is because you, you love something and you have a story and you imagine what's going to happen. Then it doesn't happen. And for a second you go, this is crazy because huh? my idea is clearly much better. <laughs> and then you have to... Um, I'm sure when people go back and watch and re-watch, because um, I don't think any of the big evolutions, uh, they all foreshadowed. Yeah. They all make sense yeah. if you go back. I mean, Daenerys is, I mean, I couldn't, I was actually surprised when people were surprised that she turned yeah. um, the way she did, because I thought she already was pretty. I mean, extremely brutal and, um, and um, you know, and, and dangerous. Um, so, and of course, the fact that Jon Snow has the, that they have this tragic ending that he has to be the one killing her is also—I mean, it, 
This it's is foreshadowed. It's it's pretty, yeah. you know. The Azor Ahai puts a sword in the heart of the of the woman. Yeah, and he already he's all, he's he was, he's a magical yeah. being already. You know, he he's 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 like you know came back from the dead. I think it's actually like Tyrion said. Uh, he has two very very important lines in this last episode. It's uh, nobody is very happy, so I think it's a good compromise. <laughs> and he says, uh, "Ask me again in ten years." Yes. I think Game of Thrones is, is a series we will talk about. Well, look at look at. <coughs> sorry, look at uh, Sopranos. The ending of Sopranos. When that happened, people were so angry. Half of the people. Well, half the, yeah, I no, think it's I mean, the best that, ending ever. Yeah, but today I think it's it's universally acknowledged as being an amazing ending. But at the time, it was like it was also a show you didn't want it to end. Yeah. And then it just went black. You were like, what the? <laughs> you, how dare you? So, um, I mean, you can't please everyone, and you're not supposed to. We all have a favorite character. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you my favorite character, but <laughs> first I want to know which one is yours, except for Jamie Lannister, of course. Oh, of course. Um, can I pick a couple? Sure. Maybe a ranking. Well, I can't do a ranking. I mean, I love my siblings on the show. I really do. I think they're beautifully written. The Lannister, the whole Lannister family was my favorite family. But I am biased, of course. But I think <laughs> I missed when Tywin uh, left the show. I missed mm -hmm. him because he was such a fantastic actor, wonderful person, but also the character was just... Uh, um, Tyrion, of course, from, from season one has been such a, 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 you know, a great, funny, witty... A smart character. Um, Olena, uh, the old uh, Diana Rick's character, Olena Tyrell, I thought was brilliant. Um, no, I, I, now I'm, I'm just going to name the whole cast. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone, the cast is brilliant. But I, would, yeah. I especially like on Jamie Lannister is um, this is a person you hate in the very first episode with all of your heart. Yeah, because it's of the evil first Prince scene, Charming. Scene. It, Good. At, but the, the first end, second, you hate him. Yes. In the end, he's one of the most beloved characters ever in this yeah. show. Yeah, and uh, it's all to do with the writing. Yeah, of that's the, that's it's the writing, the but it's still the casting too. I read the books, but I, I, I thought, oh, this is a perfect Jamie Lannister. This is perfect. I remember back then, I was, I was really, people were very upset about my nose. Why? It was what? just not, because apparently Jamie Lannister is supposed to be beautiful, and with that nose, oh. they were like, that's not... <laughs> Think you're not beautiful? Yeah, they, they were like talking about my nose, which I thought yeah. was funny. But it, it, but my point is, you can never, you can't please everyone. You can't. Yeah. So who's your favorite character? It's Arya Stark. Of course. What do you what do you think about the Starks? Amazing character. I mean, uh, the the growth, the, the 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 talk about you know character arcs. Both Sansa and Arya has been an incredible, and 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 I mean, and but all the girl, all the kids, well, they're not kids anymore. Uh, you see those shows, and they start like they were 12, 13, 14 when, they, when, they, when we began, and now they're like young adults, and you kind of go, it could have easily gone south, yeah. you know? You never know, are they still going to be talented mm -hmm. when they become, and they've just, I mean, they're so good. Um, so I agree. I think yeah, Sansa is also an amazing character. I think it's a... Uh a whole other experience when you uh, begin in a series as a kid and you grow up yeah. with the series and then... Um, I, I mean wouldn't want to experience that f for anyone. I mean, I think that's... I mean, I, they're so... I mean, they have great parents and they, they're mm -hmm. so clever and smart, but to, to have to go through your puberty mm -hmm. in the public eye sounds like recipe for disaster. And... Uh, and they are not. They are, they've turned out really uh, level-headed, wonderful people. So, uh, yeah, that's good. My favorite character is Tyrion Lannister because he drinks and knows things. But, yes. But like, the Lannisters are more interesting. Is that how you identify with yourself? Yeah, kind of, apparently. Not that much hooking, but um, yeah. Um, um, what I liked about the Lannisters, your relationship. Uh, I have a brother myself, and I love my brother. And, okay. But I seldom see him. Uh, I, ju uh, I didn't saw him for half a year. Uh, next week I will meet him again. And you and uh, Peter Dinklage, you together, uh, you had this chemistry. Yes. You, you, you didn't have a lot of screen time together, no. but you get the love of brothers. And you get, uh, it, when one of you two is in trouble, the other one frees him every time. Yeah. And the bells, 
uh, your last scene together is the only scene in Game of Thrones where I have to cry every time I see it. Good. So thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. It's good to cry. Oh, mm. so I think now after this interview, you are going to cry. I'm going to cry well, now maybe. because Why? our time is limited and we that have to let not, you go. That, did that feel uh, like real to you guys? Like, are you really going to cry? No, that was a lie. <laughs> that was... <laughs> <laughs> well, you just said that. Well, I don't know. I can see tears in his eyes. No, uh, happy tears. Oh, happy tears. Oh, Good. happy tears. No, I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, it was such a pleasure to talk to you guys. Yeah. Thank you for being you. here. Um, if you want to, you no, can no, grab I some gummy <laughs> bears if you go. I can't, you go I can't do any more. No, well, it's too just much. Just one. I'll have a last licorice. one. That's okay. the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. Okay. Thank you, Nikolai. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wir machen eine ganz kurze Pause. Es ist ja, es ist irgendwie surreal, ja, das Ganze. Oh, oh, ja, kurze Pause. You can, you can still have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, eine ganz kurze Pause. Tommy Krabweis ist dann bei uns. Tommy Krabweis. Mit dem, ja, ja he's here. Ganz We're fantastisch. Ja, ja, es ist super, oder? Ja, super. Also, wir sehen uns gleich wieder. Bis gleich. Bis gleich. Tschüss. <laughs>